approximately one minute. Please meet at the reception desk in the visitor center. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to stand right over here just to start us off. Okay. So, all right. The third one is it was 850 acres and it belonged to his father in law, Colonel Dent. So, when you parked and when you came in the road, this is the road you came on. Okay. And so, you parked somewhere over here. And all this land on the other side was, was the Grant or the Dent estate. All this over here. Color of this house. Do you like it? Arsenic is very poisonous. Um, and so today, when we have the house repainted, the green that we use does not have arsenic in it. But the paint back then did have arsenic in it. Laid in by a family by the name of the Winslicks until the 1980s, like late 1980s, when they were going to tear it down and turn it into more houses and a group of local people rallied to try and save it and then it was um, given to the National Park Service in like 1989. So, that's a dress, a copy of a dress that Julia wore and you can see her in the picture. Oh, is this the good? That's like one of his, um, unit, like a copy of one of his uniforms that he would have worn. And then here, and watch your step going down. That's a kitchen of the caretaker's wife. Now, these are the types of toys that they might have played with. That is on the stove. That's like a toolbox. That's a stove, a cast iron stove. You know, in the late 1800s, St. Louis made a lot of cast iron stoves. Green paint. And this door was the door that they were going to use to get into the diner. Well, yes, yes, this door that they were using, they would not have been allowed to use the doors that the um, Dent and Grant family used. So we can't um what is this? that would have books in it and we just covered it up but because you're using real ink the, the ink is wet so this is a blotter see how it's kind of curved you would take it and roll it so you would get the excess ink the mm. wet ink off of we have an original one that was grants and you can actually see like some of his signatures still kind of on there that's oh. been rolled on a few times. What's this? That's like a ledger. You can open that up and look at it. It's like a ledger book. So it would have like, what's written in there? We've copied some of the things that have been in there. And we didn't, when he was here, he smoked a pipe. But during the Civil War, somebody sent him uh, after a victory in a battle. They sent him a box of cigars. They thought he smoked cigars. So it's a U.S. Grant here, U.S. Grant here. So there's all these different family names. And for people that live in St. Louis. What is that? Yes. Yes. Wow, that is a long time. <laughs> they should have horses, no? Thank you. 
Summer kitchen. Summer kitchen. Yeah. This is the laundry. Laundry? Yeah. I went to the table. The first part is going to be like. on the ground. On the icy morning of February 15th, Confederate forces stormed out of the fort. Grant was surprised, but made a characteristic response. Counterattack. His men swarmed over the fort's outer fences, making the Confederate position. Over the years, his greatness would be buried. For over a century, the common story of Grant was that the great general was a failure as a president. But Grant, the impoverished farmer who freed his only slave in 1859, continued to work for justice throughout his life. It was not Grant who failed, but a country that was not yet ready to protect civil rights for everyone. Today, Grant's belief in equality is embraced by the American people and protected by American law. Ulysses S. Grant will always be celebrated as the general who led the Union to victory in the Civil War. But he shall also be remembered as the president who laid the foundation of civil rights for all. Keep them clean, safe, and beautiful for everyone. Yeah. Who?
your junior ranger. Congratulations. Take one of those uh, badges there for you. Awesome. And you can clip that on your shirt if you want. Make sure you stamp your book with the date stamp. But every time you visit National Park, you get another badge, okay? okay. So there's like 400 of them. More of them, actually. 420.